Hey guys, a very good evening. So I was just going through the usual scientific literature and scientific articles that, that I go through every day, and I came across a very fascinating topic which I thought I would share with you because I believe that it has immense potential, even though it's just a particular um you can say topic which is currently in its uh, initial um you know initial phase, but I think it has a lot of potential, and already a lot of investors are investing in this particular. um topic or the companies that are working on this particular concept right now uh, the concept might sound sound to you very trivial initially but just hear me out and then you can decide upon yourself by the end of the video so you might have heard about the hydroelectricity and how it is basically how hydroelectricity is generated wherein you know copious amounts of water are pumped up using motors and then stored Uh, in in the form of like uh, you know the potential energy stored in the water and then when you drop them off the heights and onto the turbines the turbines rotate and that's how your you know your potential energy is then later on converted into the electrical energy right so it is based on that concept but it is based on the storage concept on the same concept uh, there is a company called gravitry city which is currently working on storage of electricity by gravity now what they do is like you know in in the urban cities wherever there are grids right so grids are basically the source of electricity um and sometimes what happens you know throughout the day the demand is high but at night the demand for electricity is low right so these grids have excess of energy now what they have developed is something which is very fascinating that is that whatever excess energy is left out say in the night the grid has excess of energy because the demand is less all right and the supply is more so the excess of energy from the grid is basically given to a very large block of mass okay and this large block of mass is then with that excess energy pumped up using motors okay so over here you are not wasting energy of course you might think that you are utilizing energy to basically pump up this mass uh, on to the top right but this is not wasted of energy this is actually the excess energy because the demand is low and the supply is high so the, instead of this energy getting wasted you are basically storing this energy by pumping out huge block of mass generally it could be iron or some other heavy metal which you kind of which you kind of like push up using the motors right and now what happens in the morning whenever the supply again is or the demand sorry is again um you know a lot and the supply is less then what you can do is you can use this block of iron and you can start releasing it from that position where it was so basically it has stored a lot of potential energy because you have pushed it up when the supply of electricity was more uh, by taking the energy from the grid but now that the grid again wants the energy because the demand is back you can then lower this block of iron and that, that will again rotate your turbines because of the energy that is generated so this is nothing but storage of electricity using gravity so this is the concept that they have utilized now you might be thinking what are the advantages you know you already have hydroelectricity which works on this concept the biggest advantage over here is like if you want to develop you know these um large amount of infrastructure that is required um to build this and then they have a very big environmental impact as well so this particular way of just using you know two to two tall towers and just a huge mass of you know um, of any metal be it iron steel whatever you can just you know set it up anywhere you don't need those very uh, you know huge amount of infrastructure secondly if we talk talk about chemical storage batteries like the lithium ion batteries the problem is in lithium ion batteries also you might have observed in your smartphones or even in your laptops that if you charge them and discharge them enough times then the battery like the amount or the ability to store the battery reduces so over here this is and again a very fascinating or very um superior alternative it could be a superior alternative till now it has not been proved but it could be a very superior alternative to your chemical storage batteries as well because you know uh, this is nothing but brute mechanical force by which you are generating the electricity or you are storing the electricity right so um and you know that steel iron and all these mechanical objects they have a very very large lifetime like at least 10 to 15 years they can easily sustain without you know having any kind of deformity within them or without having any kind of the lowering of their efficiency so th therefore there are a big advantage over these chemical um you know like if you talk about their sustainable footprint then definitely there are a big advantage over your lithium ion batteries so these are some of the alternatives where they can uh, they can be utilized and uh, i was just thinking if you know about this that in 2016 the nobel prize in chemistry was given to molecular machines right so uh, if it can be uh, you know established that these particular 
uh, you know, gravity storage uh, machines, you can say, if they can work at the classical level, then I'm sure they can also be utilized at the chemical level to generate electricity. And I think that would be a great, great advantage. So again, this is a very futuristic thing, but definitely if molecular machines are possible, who thought 20 years back that molecular or 30 years back that molecular machines could also be developed. So if machines of machines can be developed at the molecular scale, I don't think that, you know, there's a problem in storage of energy at the molecular level also using the same concept. So again, a very fascinating concept. You can read more about it. I will give you the links down in the description box or on um, or somewhere, wherever is possible. I'll give you the link so you can just um, go ahead and read about it. Uh, my whole idea was to just give you a brief idea about the topic. And if it interests you, you can definitely go ahead and read more about it. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing or following this channel um, on whatever platform you're watching it. And uh, just think of it as a way to support me. And uh, what else? Yeah, do share it with your friends uh, to maybe have some scientific discussion or try and build a scientific temper around people around you. So that might be helpful as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I hope this information was helpful to you. If you did find it helpful, do give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video really soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys. So I'm a verified educator on Unacademy. And along with that, I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there. That is Ace Haiti. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right. Now let's begin with the video.